We're joined now by Ryan Gerdusky, Republican strategy and founder of 1776 Project. And uh, you worked very closely with uh, J.D. Vance, I, I believe, when he was, um, uh, you ran his super PAC. Ryan, welcome. And uh, you must be pretty psyched. Your friend and former boss, I guess, is now the vice presidential nominee or just about. Uh, tell us about this guy and tell us about how you got to know him. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Uh, in 2020, he reached over me, reached out to me over Twitter, and we had built a friendship. And then when the open sentence came became open, and Senator Rob Portman announced his retirement, I called him and said, "If you're running, I want to be on the team." And I ended up being on a super PAC for uh, for the remaining next two years, the longest I think campaign I've ever been a part of. So it was great. And JD is um, he's one. He's an immensely humble person. He doesn't brag, as you said, mentioned his military service. He doesn't brag about the uh, the fact that he was a legitimate celebrity, uh, unlike most other politicians. Being uh, having his book being a bestseller, he was on all the talk shows. Um, he hung out with celebrities, with the richest and wealthiest people in the entire country, and he grew to despise a lot of the ways they viewed working class people like himself and working class families like the one he came from. And that is why he turned his attention closer and closer to what Trump was doing, Trump was saying. And like 10 million plus other Americans, Donald Trump won him over between the 2016 election and the 2020 election when he supported Trump in his re-election bid. You know, I met one of his professors at Yale Law School only a couple of weeks ago, and he told me that he knew or had a strong sense that this guy would be president of the United States someday. Um, <laughs> did you get that impression? Did he have that kind of aura? Was he that kind of like, wow, this guy's really going places? Did you pick up on that? Uh, I always thought J.D. had something immensely special. It's very funny. I met one of his cousins during the campaign, and his cousin said to me midway through the Senate election, she goes, I'm ready for the presidency already. Let's let's get through the Senate election so we can move forward. Um, J.D. is an immensely special person because he has tapped into many different elements of American life, whether it be that of an entrepreneur trying to make it, whether that be of a working class kid trying to survive, whether that be being a celebrity uh, and now as an elected official. And he has an immense bipartisan record that no one talks about. The, the mainstream media, I guess, likes to sit there and say that he's an extremist, but he's worked with senators when it helped and benefited Americans, like on rail reform. Um, He's worked across the aisle. He's worked with Republicans. He's been a stalwart defender of President Trump through thick and thin. And uh, I think that his ability to communicate the fact that he understands how Americans feel at this particular moment means a lot. You know, I'll tell you a story. When people sat there and said, you know, that he had called Trump supporters racist, he goes, that's ridiculous. I would never call him that because that's my family. Those are the people in which I came from. That is my neighborhood. That is my school, the kids I went to school with in Ohio. And he relates to them. Those are the people who served in the military with that he decided to do on his own at 18 um, to, the, uh, to the opposition of some other family members who didn't want him to serve. And he did it over his own patriotism, for his own patriotism. Uh, Ryan Gerdusky, so interesting to talk to you. Thank you so much. And you know, you have mentioned his military history. I'm a Marine. I barely knew that about him. It's interesting. He doesn't play it up all that much, which I think is actually kind of cool. Some people can overdo it with their military credentials. Uh, Pete Buttigieg, I'm talking about you, and you have kind of <laughs> fake military credentials, by the way. We can talk about that some other time. Uh, Ryan Gerdusky, uh, give give our best to your, uh, your, your, your friend and pal, uh, the soon-to-be vice president, we hope, and let him know. I'd love to have him on the show, okay? All the best to you, sir. Well, Gerald.